She started losing her ability to walk. She started losing her ability to crawl. She eventually couldn't even feed herself. She would tell us that she was really tired and she couldn't lift her arm to her mouth. We didn't know what was gonna work. Maddie was born prematurely by 10 weeks. Doctors had told us that she would be delayed and her milestones would probably be delayed. But at age two, when she was barely crawling and not walking, we knew there probably was something else to look for. After a few genetic tests, she was originally diagnosed as spinal muscular atrophy type two. I'll never forget the doctor saying, I want to make sure you know this spinal muscular atrophy is a fatal disease. Maddie will maybe live into her teen years. Uh, Maddie will be in a wheelchair her whole life. You look at this perfect little baby that you have, and even though she's not crawling, she looks completely healthy but they're telling you that she's gonna die and there's nothing they can do. That was devastating. There weren't any treatments, there's still no cure. Basically, they said go home, love every minute, because the future is kinda uncertain. Spinal muscular atrophy is a genetic disease. My husband and I both carry a recessive gene that we had no idea we had. Basically, your body is missing a gene called the SMN1. That SMN1 produces a protein that feeds your muscles and makes your muscles stronger. In her body, that protein is never produced and her muscles just eventually get weak. And we decided, you know what, we're gonna live life with her instead of worry about death. We're just gonna live life and let her lead the way. That summer, we were watching gymnastics and my husband just had the idea to build what we called Maddie Bars which is basically parallel bars when I made it just for her height. Within a few days, she was upright, which is the first time she'd ever done it. You could see the light bulb go off in her head that, oh wow, this, this changes everything. I'll never forget the day she stood by herself the first time, and then the first time she walked, that day was so exciting. We had a pretty good outlook on life at that point. She started to grow a little bit and we saw that it was getting harder for her to crawl upstairs and they were taking blood, running tests. She was having seizures every night when she went to sleep and every morning when she woke up. Maddie was diagnosed with something called 15Q duplication. Patients with 15Q often have seizures and they are on the autism spectrum. Every day she would have between eight and 10 seizures for about two years. She lost a lot of brain function. She eventually couldn't even feed herself. She would tell us that she was really tired. Her personality changed a lot being so medicated, she was mean. And that just wasn't Maddie at all. It was very, very sad. The medication that was the lifesaver is not a very popular one, but Dr. Silberto wanted to try it. So she's on something called Felbamate. Within a couple of months of starting that Felbamate, she actually stopped having seizures completely. Maddie has returned to being herself. There was a drug passed that was helping stop the progression of SMA. There was a lot of families that had to fly by airplane, that had to drive hours and hours to hospitals that were trying to get this drug. And for us to have it so close to home was amazing. Maddie had not walked in six months at least, and she unbuckled herself and she stood up the first day she got the medication, and my jaw dropped. After that first injection, her scoliosis increased, so eventually she had to have spinal fusion. It was an eight to 10 hour surgery. It fused her spine and put rods down both sides of her spine so that she could improve airway function and things like that. Maddie started gaining things back that she had lost. She started being able to feed herself. She wasn't as tired. She started crawling again in the house. UI Stead Family Children's Hospital is absolutely amazing. The knowledge and the comfort level they provided to us just really made us feel at home. They are family to us. We have been here with Maddie since she was two years old and knowing that I can count on those doctors. There's so many of them have played a, a part of saving her life. You know, I think about where would we be without them? We would be telling a different story. Maddie's taught us just to take life one day at a time. She wakes up every morning, what are we gonna do today? She wants her whole day planned out, and that girl wants fun. And I really like to play volleyball outside. I also like to play with my dolls, play cards, cheerleading. We also do some like stunting. If Maddie's care team was in the room right now with us, I would give all a hug and say thank you. We are so grateful that they have given her life, that we're able to be here to celebrate her today instead of warn her that, you know, I just say thank you so much.